We continue to preview the 2024 college football season. Our stop today is Crowley, Louisiana, and we get to visit again with Don Lee, the head football coach for the John Melvin Millers. Coach, it's a privilege to get to see you once again and to have you on Midwest Sports Net. Year one is now in the books, uh, official record two and five for the season, and I'd like you to talk a little bit about it. Last year, all we could do was preview and talk about you you uh, getting things started, and you got things started so quickly and so well. Tell us a little bit about year one. Well, I tell you what, I, I mean, I can go off of that two and five record and just talk about just what God has done. It was amazing uh, last year. I get goosebumps setting here. Um, you know, we talked this time last year. We didn't have a coaching staff, didn't have a place to play, didn't have equipment. All we had was a dream. Um, and it was an amazing to see how the whole season played out. We, we made it to every game. Um, was it tough? Yes, it was tough. It taught a lot of our kids' character. We broke down probably every game that we went to. But, you know, it was something that we built on the side. Man, and playing that last ball game, I, you know, when my kids were sitting there and hugging their families, everybody's like, what's wrong with coach? I'm sitting on the sideline crying like a baby, and they didn't know why I was crying because it was a dream. It was a dream, and we started this thing with three, with basically $675, and we gave 300 back to the school. And it just to see where it came from and be able to travel to Miami and take some of these kids that's never been out of South South Louisiana. You should have seen their eyes. We went to Texas and played Texas Wesleyan. You should have seen that. We won a ball game just showing up. Don't get me started this morning. We just won a ball game just showing up. Uh, it was amazing, you know, just to take some coaches that a bunch of young coaches that never coached a game and be able to put an offense together, be able to put a defense together, special teams, and be able to play a full game. A lot of, you know, a lot of people don't realize what it takes to build a football team. And it takes hard work and dedication. And our record showed, man, we won a game. I was like, we won a game. Um, it's unbelievable. <laughs> that, that puts a little bit of pressure on you your second year. You got to win more than two. Um, but it put a little pressure on to say we can still do it with what we have. And also, we can also do it from um, – the little stuff that we have and we're building a community coach talk about that just a little bit I, I do want to preview this this team that's coming up for the 2024 schedule but that was something that uh, again when we visited last you were talking about building young men there on i-10 and i'd like you to talk a little bit about that process that goes yeah. into that because you know obviously ups and downs growing pains along the way Whew. Here I go now. You get me started. We had 82 kids show up in August. That was unheard of. 82 kids. And then not only the 82 kids, by the third ball game, you got to understand South Louisiana. Um, men are a little bit different. They don't say love you. You know, it's it's hard work. You know, it's you say love is weak, you know. Man, we had people get up and talk about their testimonies. We had We had kids accept Jesus Christ. That was like winning a national championship to me. Um, we had kids that was coming from all walks of the world. That's what that's what's so great about football. You got kids from all walks of the world, and you bring them all together for one common goal, and that's to win. Is no individual. Not talking about any other sports, but let's be honest. Baseball can't do it. Basketball can't do it. Those are individual sports. Well, when you come in and you're playing football, you asked in 11 guys from all different walks to come together for one common goal, and that's to win and play together. And I told them three things if you come and play for me. I said, I'll make you a better father because I've never seen one. I'll make you a better husband. I've never seen one. And I'll make you a better person in the workplace. If I've done those three things, I've created a man. Um, someone that's not sleeping on mama's couch, but able to pay for mama's couch. And those kids bought in. I mean, when I walked away, all of these kids were saying, I love you, coach. Thank you for everything you've done for us. We've never seen it. We've even had, you know, some of my kids that, that caught the first touchdown, caught the first interception. They had an opportunity to go play one double A football. Man, that's a, again, we're giving kids an opportunity. And that's what I wanted to do with this new thing. I've been in coaching for a long thing for a long time and seeing the way the coaching is going, it's about winning. Yeah, it's winning 
on the scoreboard, but what about the kids' lives? You know, are you winning in their lives? When they walk away, are they learning more than just football? And that was our goal last year, to learn more than just football. I talk about my coaching staff. I had one guy come in, Adam Doucette. He came in off the oil field. First time ever coaching, got a degree, and now he's working at the high school here. Man, John Melvin gave him an opportunity, you know, and that's what we try to sell, an opportunity. Take advantage of your opportunity. Told you I'll talk to you to death. <laughs> no, Coach. <laughs> hey, this this is this is the platform for it. So absolutely. <laughs> I I, I want to ask then about recruiting. So, you know, spring's come around, come and gone. Recruiting this year is a little bit different than last year. You you have a, a season in the books, you have some players that, that have already come in. So tell us a little bit about the recruiting process for 24. Okay, now again, don't take what I say personally. I usually have to say that when I start off. I knew what I had to do last year. Last year, I had to show the image is real. Um, so I had to get kids from all types of walks. You know, we were grabbing kids from the grocery store, we were grabbing kids from the field. Didn't have an opportunity to sit there and see each kid's film and see how they come into our you know, our process. And this year we were able to slow it down and not go for the 82 kids, but go for the quality kids. I've got some good quality coming in this year. Got a bunch of transfer kids that play for me, uh, uh, else places um, that coming in and can help us automatically. Last year we played with 78 freshmen and only two transfers. And we went to play a team that had uh, five-year, six-year, you know, athletes. And here go my guys that's, 18 years old or 17 years old, getting the heck beat out of them. But well, I said I had to change that diameter this year. I've got to go get us some some meat, some old linemen, some D linemen. Uh, man, I'm blessed. I've got three good quarterbacks coming in. I got one from New Mexico that's un unbelievable. I got one that's coming out of Mobile, Alabama. He's unbelievable. And I got another kid that's coming from, watch this, from South Dakota. And he's, he's unbelievable. So we've got some good quality kids coming in. Um, we got some receivers that can go get it. Uh, we got linebackers. Uh, we, this time we slowed it down, slowed it down, and we're recruiting not for the numbers, if that makes any sense. We're recruiting for the quality now because our, our goal is to go NAI and to be in our NAI in 2025, 24, the end of 24, going into 25. I knew what it was going to take to build it and to get ready to go into play. And and we and we've uh, we'll talk about that later on. We're making a lot of new waves, like in the South Conference. We've cr created a South Conference. Uh, we've we're into this um, NSTAA, which is a uh, which is really good for baseball and basketball. And they're wanting to start football, but our main goal is NAI Sooner Conference, Red River Sooner Conference. I understand, Coach. Uh, visiting with Coach Don Lee here from John Melvin on the summit on Midwest Sports Net. I encourage you, please subscribe to the channel. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Coach, then tell us a little bit about the offense coming in. It's neat that there's a pipeline now from South Dakota to South Louisiana. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> too. But yeah, and New Mexico now. I couldn't believe I got the kid out of New Mexico. I'm like, um, are you sure? He's like, Coach, I like to build. I said, you're my type of person. You know, because a lot of people don't understand what it takes to build. We're, we're starting not just a football team. We're starting a university from the ground level up in Crowley, Louisiana, when you got a lot of schools that's shutting down. Well, it's uh, diameter of it is, is a great place to put sports into a southern park and – I think it helps build a community and we built the community. Now we're starting to get a little bit of feedback from that community and coming into what we're trying to do. And as our main goal was to create an integrity and character in our young men. And I'm not going to shy away from that. I'm, 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 meant, I'm too old to shy away from it. It's been my whole DNA since I've started. Um, I'm not going to cut corners. If that, that means that if I'm going to get my head beat in, I'll get my head beat in, but I'm not going to cut corners in these kids' lives. I want to be able to give them a platform that's going to last them forever. Um, and that's what football does. It changed my life. Um, and then with us being able to do that here in Crowley with the kids that we're bringing in, 
I had one incident last year, one incident with 80 something kids and it was in McDonald's and the, the manager called me. We joke about it in the town and I'm like right over at Sonics and they tells the kid to hold up. And here I come around the corner and the kids eyes get big, like, Oh crap. There is coach Lee. Well, that's what I want. I, my whole goal was not to take away from the community, but to give back to the community. If that makes any sense. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. <clears throat> and to to have just just one time in the whole season that's not, that's not bad at all. Well, you you mentioned three quarterbacks, so we'll start there with offense. Tell us a little bit about the offense heading into twenty four. Well, my my goal is to always, uh, you know, I'm a part of the Air Raid family. Um, been a part of the Air Raid family for years. My mentor and Hal Mummy was roommates in college, so we were the family to put the zone into the Air Raid. Uh, I've all the places I've been, I've ran the Air Raid with zone. And I'm training coaches to, to do it. Um, so now I'm kind of – I've trained coaches to do it. So now I'm excited that I'm taking over the offense this year. So I'm going to throw that sucker. I've been saying it for like 20 years, and offense coordinators don't believe in it. Uh, I want to throw that sucker 95% of the time, and the other five I want to think about it. And a lot of people don't understand – yeah, I'm still going to run the ball because the pass is going to open up the run. But my diameter is the air raid. I want to sling it. Um, and I got two good, three good quality quarterbacks that can come in and sling it. I've got a center that's pretty good offensively. And we've got a bunch of kids that's coming in. So I think our offense will be a lot better than it was last year. Um, it's, you know, that doesn't say a lot, but being the first year, but we, I want to say show improvement. Now that last year defensively held us in a lot of games. Um, our defense has been what we've, what I've ran for almost 20 plus years. I, it's stuck 95% of the time. And the other five think about it. I want to be fast, fast on grass is what I want to be. So our defense matched up last year to what I want. Still need to get better with better. You know, I hate to say better athlete, um, we need more experience. That's a good word to say. We need more experience, and we need to get a lot better on defense. Because uh, defense wins championships. If you you got your defense rolling, my offense can be able to develop about the third game. You, 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 I'm old. I've been in it for a long time. It's hard to get staff to work together. You know, offense want to be offense, and defense want to be defense. But you have to bring them both together, and then you need the special teams. So our special teams, I'm hoping to hire a great special teams guy that's been in this thing for 27 years. He's worked at Nickel State, and now that would change the diameter on our special teams. We did we did decent last year on special teams, but our special teams need the whole value too. If you got all three components coming together, it's going to make you strong. And I I, I – I think we'll get there within the next two years. By the time we're ready to go, NAI will be something to know. It's will be something to notice. You'll notice us in the next three years. And you mentioned that uh, wanting to to go NAI. That's that's a part of the process as well, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I tell you again, I've done this for while. Well, I'm getting old. I've done it 27 years. I've rebuilt six. I've started three with Dennis. Um, I know what it takes to build a university. You can't tell me that you're going to have everything done in two years. It's going to take you three to five years to get everything set in stone um, and running like off of all capacity. Uh, so we're right on that urge. When to going into that third year of the school, our paperwork is in. Um, all we're missing, we have the state certification. We're just waiting to get our certification from the federal government. The paperwork is in. Um, but you know how that goes. If, you, if your I is wrong, it's going to send you back. If your T is wrong, it's going to send you back. So it takes a little bit of time to get uh, to get the federal part of it. But the state part, we're good. Classes can transfer. We're just waiting. Once we get the state part taken care of, we'll go right into the NAI. And we're working on that. We're working diligent. And, and the money plays a big part. And you've got to think about it. you got to – you got two men that's funding the school and a lot of the money's coming out of their pocket. No government money, no federal money. I think we're right on track where we need to be. All right, Coach, then let's let's talk 2024 schedule. A 10-game schedule this year. A couple more games than you had on the schedule last year. Five at home, five away. Uh, you get things started with Arkansas Baptist. We had a chance to visit a little bit earlier with Coach Wilson there. The Buffaloes are going to host you all on Saturday, August 31st. And uh, then it keeps going, and you have all levels. You have NAI, Division Three, a couple of prep schools in there as well, so it should be a fun schedule. 
it, that's what I wanted to go into this year. I wanted to give us a, a different fit. Man, I think I, I, I made a tough schedule last year. That was a very tough schedule. You know, you go out and play North Alabama, and then you go down to Miami and you play, and, and we've had some tough schedules last year. But I wanted to show them that we can compete. Well, now this year is to show them the 10 games and be able to trick. Uh, that's the main goal is to be able to get to 10 games, play 10 games. That's my main goal this year is to show it. So I wanted to schedule or make a schedule that can show us building. And opening up with Arkansas – Baptist, that's a great field because they were right there where we were three years ago. Um, they, you know, they started off and they've been trying to build this thing. It goes even longer than three years ago. You know, even six that they've been trying to build this thing and they just got into the NAI, right? So that's, I'm looking at, okay, great field. Great field. Then we open up with our second game, who they were called uh, LLC last year and they changed their names, but that was one of the teams that we beat. So now we come back with our home game and we've got an opportunity, not to say we're going to win it, but to pe be able to compete at home for the first time. And then we get on the road again. So I think we put a, a decent schedule together um, to be able to pay it. Now, you got to pray for me because now adding 10 games, that means more money. That means that now I'm over here saying, all right, I got to get five more thousand. I got to get six more thousand to do it this way. And you're just praying that God makes it work. And I know he will. All right, Coach. Well, we're going to follow along. We've enjoyed following you all so far, and it's a privilege to get to, to visit with you and talk about the Millers again in 2024. Progress all the time and uh, just continuing to get better with every season. Coach Don Lee, thank you again for coming on and thank visiting you. with us here on the Summit. We appreciate it and, and success to you all this season. Thank you so much for, you know, taking this time out to just visit with John Melvin, the little school that's up on the rise. Please watch us. We've got some good kids is returning next from, from this year that's going to be really good for us. I mean, we're going to be we're a lot better than last year. We can be able to compete a little bit better.